can't you be like Jesus? Oh, Mohammed, why can't you be like him? He made the lame to walk again. He calmed the stormy seas. He cast a net for the souls of men to give life eternity. He healed the lepers and the sick through demons from the crowds. But, mo boy, you were being squeezed because you, you couldn't read aloud. And we say, oh, Mohammed. Why can't you be like Jesus? Oh, Mohammed, why can't you be like him? The issue of possession. Of course, possession is real. And there are evidences in the Quran and in the Sunnah. This is something that is cannot be denied. That the jinn sometimes do overtake the body. And the person becomes the jinn. And sometimes the person loses control but not consciousness. There are many levels of possession. Possession only occurs in the worst type of sihr. Much sihr occurs without any possession. Let's call it jinn irritation. So the jinn will simply be assigned to you to make your business fail. To give you no child basically. Always you have the miscarriage as we said, right? So it's not living inside of the body. There are many cases of sihr that don't involve possession. The jinn will rather just be around in your vicinity. Maybe even come back and forth into your life every few weeks to monitor the situation. So it is even possible you will read Quran for an hour. Nothing will happen because the jinn is not there. That's why I said you need to make a habit of reading Quran. The worst type of sihr is when the jinn is inside of you living. Uh, whether it's the stomach, whether it's the brain, whether it's the back. And wherever it inhabits, there will be extra pain or tingling, spiny sensation or pins and needles. So wherever the jinn is living will have some impact on you physically. Remember that... You are reaching out to another world, and that is the world of the jinn. You only have one power, and that is la hawla la quwwata illa billah. Allah has the power over the jinn, and so the number one way to combat sihr is through the Quran. Uh, you don't need to go to a specialist, but it is advisable to for one simple reason, and that is that you are not knowledgeable of how to do these things. Just make sure that the specialist you go to is of correct theology. Because most of the people involved in combating magic are themselves magicians. They will contact other jinns to kick the first jinns out. The other one takes over. How do you know that the guy you're going to is a magician? Very simple. Now, by the way, money is not a, a criterion because even righteous people might ask you money. If he asks you for your mother's name or the mother's name of the one that you're treating, know that the person you're talking to is a magician. Because in the world of the jinn, they need to know your mother's name. Because Allah says, call them by their fathers. And the shayati want to disobey Allah. So they will call them by their mothers. How do you know it's legitimate? If he asks you, to read more Quran, then you know this person is legit. And that's the main criterion of separating the righteous from, from those who are not righteous. So to write the Quran, and it has to be Quran, and put it in water to drink, not a problem inshaAllah ta'ala, uh, to, uh, to blow the Quran onto something and give it to you. Again, if, you, if it's the Quran, not a problem as well. Uh, even to write Quran as long as it is Quran and put it on the body, but you have to read it, make sure it is entirely Quran. And the more religious and righteous you are, the less the impact the sihr will have on you when it is done. The more religious and righteous you are, the less the impact the sihr will have on you when it is done. Oh, Mohammed, why can't you be like Jesus? Oh, Mohammed, why can't you be like him? He made the lame to walk again. He calmed the stormy seas. 
He cast a net for the souls of men to give life eternity. He healed the lepers and the sick through demons from the crowds. But, mo oh boy, you were being squeezed because you, you couldn't read aloud. And we say, oh, Mohammed, why can't you be like Jesus? Oh, Mohammed, why can't you be like him? Oh, Mohammed, why can't you be like Jesus? Oh, Mohammed, why can't you be like him? Christ walked upon the waters deep, gave good news to the poor. But old Mo took a baby bride, and, and then he wanted more. Christ raised the dead back to life. Mo took his adopted son's wife, and Jesus cleansed us all of our sins. And woe is Mo who wants them back again. And I said, Oh, Mohammed. Why can't you be like Jesus? Whoa, Mohammed, you'll never be like him.